proud of because I played against him. Uh, we battled against each other. And when he came in the league, I don't know if his ceiling was that high or his expectations. And that's Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, I got a chance to play for Don Nelson. And I think Don Nelson needs to be credited for the way that this kid played because if you would have put him in the post at a young age, I don't know if he would have been this successful. But being able in that mid-range, then stretching it to three-pointer. And as a big guy, you know, Bosh, we weren't used to when you first come in the league playing out on that three-point line, moving laterally so hard to stop Dirk Nowitzki when he has that kickstand and he's going. Well, yeah, I mean, he's always been a player to play to his strength. Yeah. He's got that high release. Yeah. He's got a great post game, but he extended it a little bit. Yeah. That Carl Malone elbow type area, yeah. the extended post, he became a master at that and could always face you up and knock shots down as well as shoot threes. And I mean, he was just such a great competitor and just to, you know, play against him, it's not much you can do. I mean, look at that good defense. Come on, you I mean, stop yeah, him, he jumps off the wrong he, foot. And, and the things that people don't see, he gives you that nudge. Yeah. And that sends you flying a little bit and you don't want to foul. Yeah. And I mean, he's the guy that Man, really made that one legged <laughs> jumper yeah. really very popular. I mean, I, I watched him when he was in high school. I think he played against the USA select team. Uh. And I watched this dude score like 35, 12 rebounds. And I never really seen a big dude like that that, that can go foot, coast man. to coast, yeah. stop on a dime and pull up for a three. I seen the Chris Chris Webbers and, and 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 the KGs who can push it and make plays, but never a big dude who can stop and mix somebody and pull up with a soft touch on the three. So, you know, Dirk is a, a, a legend to me because of he's one of a kind. You know what I mean? He's truly one of a kind. Yeah, and when you talk about, you know, one of the kind, one of a kind and, and legends, you know, we, we have one sitting next to us that's getting ready to go into the Hall of Fame. That's so. right. Appreciate you. How, <laughs> yeah. how did you do against Dirk? Hey, well, I tell you, I, I used to go at Dirk because a player that's great on oh. offense, you make him pay on the defensive end. So I tried to put him in the mixer, okay, inside so and well. outside, keep him moving. Oh. Okay, see, we're oh, 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 dunk that, big you fella. Come on, dunk that. Okay, you know, big fella. Same, okay, yeah. get back on the board. And at the same time, yeah, you head. always Let it be with oh. the ball. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Nice because oh. he can take me out there, man, and put me out. And as a big fella, if a screen come and Baron's going to scream me and Baron's saying, screen, screen. As a big fella, I, you know, we, we don't know what to do. When I take a hard step, Dirk, that's a pump fake psych and a three-point yeah. shot. So I had to always go at him to keep him honest because if you let him just stand around, he's going to kill you. But definitely, for me, one of the toughest guys I ever had to check in this game offensively. And uh, I love his game.